Monkey 1000 and today we're in Crystal River but we are not having the boat today. We have some issues. Is so <laughs> I am um, so it's very busy. It's Father's Day weekend so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Hope you have a great weekend and it's very busy. So it took us almost an hour and a half just to find us place. So this is what we found all by ourselves. Oh, Hope it Gulf stays Mexico. that way. Gulf of Mexico, nowhere to fish and nowhere to park. Yeah, it's terrible. So, yeah, but we are here and this is what we see on this side. This is down where the, you can boat launch over here. We're not at the marina. This is where the beach is. We did a video before, it was pretty close to the beach. This is at the very end, so. And there's a little trail, there's a doggy park, uh, like a doggy beach here. So we just followed a trail and we found this, this is nice. So anyways, we're gonna try and fish here. And we couldn't get to the pier, the pier's just full of people and rods. So it's just not working out. It's just too busy today. We should have got up about seven o'clock this morning and saved our spot. That's what we should. Yeah. Yeah. As as do this is kind of nice though. We've this got yeah. 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 So anyways, we're going to try to catch some fish here. When I get catch something, then we'll we'll put you back on. I hope I you guys got to see that it just jumped. So, we'll try and get something. At least one of us maybe. It's hot out here, so I wish I would have brought my uh, umbrellas. We have umbrellas for these chairs. I wish I would have brought them, but I didn't even think about it. So, anyways, stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll catch something quickly. Hey everyone, we're just out here fishing. They're taking my shrimp. They're biting the shrimp off and not getting the hook. It's nice out here, though. There are fish out there, as you probably see in the water there. And look over here, I hopefully you can see them from here are all these crabs. All kinds of crabs. Yeah, see them moving around here. Yeah, there's like a whole swamp of them over there. Yeah, so, yeah, so, I think I might, I had one and it got off my hook, so. I don't know what kind of fish it was. There's a bird over here, if you can see the bird. So, yeah, quite nice out here, really. A lot of people, though. I like coming out here when it's not so busy. There's the stacks over there. Yeah. I'm surprised we're the only ones over here are fishing, because the pier is full. Maybe I'll catch one soon. Stay tuned. Okay guys, uh, we went to a different place and this is what I caught. It's a little baby. Isn't he cute? Aww. And he's what he's called? He's got blue on him. The blue cat. He's cute. Blue cat. The blue cat. He's little. Yep. Okay, goodbye. Have fun. So we're at it's a state park here, and these are the boats, and they're going in and out. A lot of them, that's the boat ramp right there. And we should bring our boat out here. Yeah. And so they're coming in, a lot of them, for the day. But where we were, we were getting a lot of bites, but we were not getting uh, any fish. So at least I got one. Yep. Yay! Your turn now. All right, so when I catch another one or he catches one, I'll be back home. There's the Coast Guard there. Out here. So, I'm going to bring my boat. We'll bring the boat out here. I think it would be nice area to come. Yeah, we'll have to come out here. Let's see, I like to peer here. Oh, I might have a fish. Hold on. Oh, it's 
Shea Bear's got a butter fishy. He's trying to get his camera to go. He's got himself a fishy. Let's see what he gets. Hey, there you go. He got himself a fishy. Fishy is he? Oh. oh, you got a snapper? Oh, nice. He's pretty. Oh, wow. That's cool. I have to hold on to my rod. Better be careful with this one. Yeah. Well, oh, he's a good size. See, he's got fangs. Yeah. Do you Ooh. see his fangs? Yeah, I see his fangs. Ooh, I got one. Ooh, <laughs> I have to go. All right. Hey guys, I got me a little catfish. Isn't he cute? Shaver's still getting his, and I got one too. Yay! I want one like he's got, though. I have to work harder for it, I guess. He's a pretty one. Can we eat that one? No, it's the size. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that little baby. <laughs> I don't know if he can see his teeth or not. I saw them. Little fangs. Yeah, well, then yeah. You I too. see them. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. He's pretty. Bye, fishy. It's a little baby. These ones will horn you quicker than the big ones. Are they? I said they'll horn you quicker than the big ones. Yeah. They flop around so much. Yeah. Another blue cat. Cool. Oh, bye. See how they flop around? Yeah. When you go to release them, sometimes uh -huh. they'll flap around and nail you. Oh. Because they're faster. They don't have all that weight. Ooh, cool beans. It's getting quieter now. People are going away, going home for dinner. So this will be a fun time. Hopefully we catch something else. We'll be back. Shea Bear got another one. Yay, got a baby. Catfish. Yeah, they're tiny. All right, it's two to two. Yep. He's cute. <laughs> there you go. He got himself a catfish. Uh, where? Where? I can't. Okay. What happened? He got me. Oh no, what do you do? Ouch. Oh, babe. Oh, you okay? Little stinker. They're fast. Uh, uh, I'll see if I got some band-aids in the truck. I'll be right back. Hey, we got another one. There you go. After he hurt his hand, hopefully he won't hurt it this time. They're little feisty little things, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, the smaller they are, the worse they are. He's already got a swelling in his hand, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's cute. Down there, he got a fish. He's going to take it home. It's a legal limit. What is that? It's not illegal, it's legal. I said legal. Yeah, but it sounded like you said illegal. Legal it's, limit. Uh, what did I say he was? 13? Yeah. 13 got inches. A guy gave it to him. Yeah, some guys on a boat said, hey, that's that guy. Yeah. I was like, or I heard something about that guy over there, and I was like, oh shit! And they started turning this way. Yeah. I thought, oh man. He's like, you want a fish? I said, what you got? They said, mangrove snapper. Yeah. I said, yeah, throw him up here. Yeah. So there you go. We're gonna take him home and try to do something with it. That's cool. Now we just need to catch one. <laughs> All right.
already caught one. Yeah, you did. But it wasn't legal size anyways. Right, right. I mean, I could tell he wasn't quite as big as that one, so. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to turn you back off for a little bit. I'm going to try to fish again. I was checking my ring. And I'll be back as soon as we find something else. Another catfish. A little bit bigger than the last one. Yeah, it's about as big as your first one, maybe a little smaller than your first one. Yeah. yeah. Suckers are terrible. Guess we should get a glove. That's four. Four to two. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we got death birds behind us. Yeah, they've been. Oh, shit, there's three. There was two. Yeah. Yes. There's the death birds behind us. They smell that fish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they feisty little things, too. They want that food. <laughs> they don't move. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he's right behind you. They're feisty, aren't they? Uh, I'm gonna reel my thing in and make sure my fish, my shrimp ain't gone. <laughs> they go quick. I'll be back. Hey everyone, so now you can tell we are back at the house. We left Shea Bear's hands hurting him, so we came home and he cut up the fish that they gave him. So we're gonna. He's going to fry it up. It's in there. He's already cut it all up. It's on his channel. So try to go to Shaver 1000 and see how he cut it. And we're going to fry it up. So here we go. Okay, guys. So Monkey was just going searching her video. And check, make sure it's hot enough. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, you want it about 350 degrees, 375 tops. A lot of guys will tell you 400. Nah. Should have been a little bit hotter than that, but it'll be fine. And we're just going to brown them up until they're brown on both sides. And uh, it, once this gets up temperature, it only just take just a couple minutes minutes on each side. Um, <clears throat> And a lot of people will add the lemon juice now. A lot of people wait until it's done and put it on a plate and then add their lemon juice. doesn't really matter. All that does is get rid of the fishy flavor. But uh, i got something blinking on this thing. So, um, memory card. Oh, crap. i got four minutes. Okay, I'll kick you back on here in a minute, guys. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Shut up. Okay, guys. They're finished. He's got them on there. Look good. Like I said, I did about, I didn't know if he was recording, but I did about three minutes per side. All right. Yeah. No, you don't want them. You just want yeah, them see, to be flaky. when they start falling apart like that, they're Yeah. They look pretty good. Yep. What? <laughs> All right. You ready to try? Yep, I'm ready if you are. Yep. I'm not recording yet, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, as you can see, Monkey's recording. This is my foot long mm -hmm. Coney dog from uh, Coney Island. Mm -hmm. We took a cruise up to New York while we was out and come back real quick. And ha ha ha. So, I'm going to get Monkey a fork. I did not film that, cut, taking it all out of the pan, but oh. stick it out of the pan, put it on a plate. So, Monkey's going to try it. Let's see if she likes it. Beer batter is always a lot better. Uh, next time I plan on making fish, uh -huh. cooking clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, you <coughs> weren't sure expecting this. Yeah. And well, we passed like 37 gas stations. I could have got a beer and then. Yeah. Like, That's okay. 
Okay, so, okay, so you want me to hold I'm, the camera for you, or you got it. So I'm gonna try it. Maybe. It smells good. It smells like fish. <laughs> well, I hope it don't smell like shrimp. Mm. Oh, that ain't bad. This is mangrove snapper. Uh huh. Red snapper's better, but I think that's pretty good. Yeah, you yeah. like it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Alright, yeah. let me I'll get me a bite of that. Okay. Here's your camera back. What'd you put in that? Because I didn't film that part. Crap. Um lemon pepper. Uh-huh. <coughs> Zatarain's crab oil. Uh-huh. <coughs> sea salt. Uh-huh. Lowry seasoned salt and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Right, so let me get a bite of this. Oh, good. I've never had snapper. No. And I don't think I have either. Mm-mm. I mean, my first time. Pretty good. It's your first time having a snapper? Mm-hmm. Fresh caught. Now, the one I caught, I don't know if it would have been legal. If it if it was, it would have just been barely. Yeah. It was a little bit smaller than this one. Uh-huh. This one was 13 inches. And what is it, 11 inch? Yeah. So, let's give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Monkey uh, almost brought in something at her first place, was it? Yeah. She said it was all red, so I'm thinking it was a red snapper. It might have been. That's all I saw was red, and it came off my hook. Mm. Wow. Isn't that good? That's nice. Mmm. Very good. It would have been better if I made my beer better, and if we had a little bit of lemon. Other than that, man, that That's is That's nice. Awesome. I like that. So if we ever get any, we're going to bring them home. See her face, she's going to do again. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's our day. Yeah, fishing. that's very good. I like that. Well, I got a wound. Yeah, we well, have to mend to it. Still sore. It's when you get horned by a catfish, they don't sting like everybody says. They don't sting you. Alright. Like a bee. Mm -hmm. What they do is they hook you with them barbs, and mm -hmm. there is a little bit of poison that comes out. Alright. But let me tell you, it's this, that initial, it's just like... He's, he's stuck like you, like yeah, glue. Well, I mean... Their, their barbs kind of hook. Oh, yeah. So when they horn you, it's just like stabbing a nail into you. Yeah. And uh, it's really the only way... A hook's a lot better if you get hooked because then you can pull it through. Right. And then cut the point off and then pull it back out. No big deal. Because, you know, they're thin too. These yeah. barbs are thick. Yeah. And the only way to get these out without going to the emergency room and having cut it out, which <laughs> what they're going to do, the same thing, yank it out. That's all you can do. Yeah. So, my yeah. whole hand is still sore from it. It's ten times worse than a bee sting. Any bee sting I've ever well, gotten. I don't know what a bee sting is like. So a wasp? It's no fine. Uh -uh. It's not fine? It's no fun. <laughs> nope. Not at all. All right, so that's our fishing trip. Yeah. I'm going to say shit, bro. Myth the man legend. I'm going. Thanks for watching. I'm talking to her camera as well, guys. So, yep. thanks for watching, monkeys people. Monkey people. Monkey uh, people. And we're, I'm going to eat some of this fish. Yep. I'm sure she's going to eat some. I'm going to give some to mom and try it. Let her try it. If her mom likes it. <laughs> I think it. I was just going to say, we'll see. Mom likes it, so we're gonna give some to mom. Yeah, uh, she likes fish, so uh. we're gonna see how she likes it. And uh, I didn't ever do it on the salt, I usually put a lot more salt stuff. But her mom's doctor says she needs to cut down <coughs> on the salt. She didn't say quit, but she said to cut down. So I've been kind of uh, very lightly salting things when I cook it, and yeah. then that way, if I, I like a lot more salt, I usually salt it afterwards anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I'm trying to cut down on the salt and sugar for anything that I make for them too, so especially a salt bath for her mom, so Yeah. So that way it'll be healthier. So anyway, Shea Bird Myth Man Legend gone for now. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Bye bye guys. Bye guys. Okay guys, so this is the mangrove snapper that those gentlemen gave me. So we're gonna I'll just show you how I do one side of it and then just gonna get back here behind the gill. 
and go like that and follow this down Then we're going to cook him up, right, Mama? Yep. Let's go right down the rib cage. First time I use this knife and. It's not very sharp, so. No. The one I caught was not quite this big, so it might have just barely made it, maybe. Oops. that I got a couple bones in there happens make sure you get the bones out now some guys they'll just go ahead and fry that up like that with the skin but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this fillet out You don't have to, but I'm going to let this soak in salt water for a few minutes. It kind of takes away the blood. And, but there it is. Nice filet. This is a... I mean, you, you could... Two people could eat off this, but normally to me this is a one-person meal here. So I'm going to get the other side done, then we'll throw him in the pan. All right, Mama? Okay. Okay, so... Quick and easy. I got some flour in here. Uh, shoot, sorry, I would like to make some beer batter, but I don't have any beer, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this crab boil. Not a lot though. Just a little bit of it. I'm gonna take some lemon pepper. Just like that. Some fresh ground sea salt that I harvested from the sea while we was out there. Right, monkey? Yeah. And put it in this fancy thing so it looks like a store-bought. <laughs> and monkey's laughing because she knows I'm bullshitting. There's some lowry season salt. Again, like I always say, just put in what you want. I don't have any lemon. Lemon's really good. And, uh, got some cayenne pepper here. Lemon juice? Yeah, do we have any lemon juice? I might have some lemon juice in the fridge. There we go. Now I'm just going to take a whisk. I'm going to whisk this up. Just like this. Pretty much it. Now, I'm going to take our fish directly out of the Salt water. <laughs> Every time I do something like a monkey laugh, but when she does it, she'd be like, Stop laughing at me. That ain't funny. Okay. So, uh, I do like to cook it some butter, but I think that's all the butter we have. So. Is it? Yeah, because I used the last uh, oh. stick yesterday on the, uh, oh my on the uh, mashed potatoes. Alright, so that's okay. We're going to use olive oil. I'll bring you over to the pan, the skillet. 